Hello everybody, this is Morgan with the Scale Quarterly How It Works article. Today we're talking about replication. In this video, we're going to time exactly how long it takes to recover the example VM environment in real time. Here we have three VMs. VM A is a non-critical VM using the default replication schedule. VM B and VM C are critical VMs using a custom snapshot schedule I've created. Here you can see the VM is actively replicating. On the right side is our replication target cluster. As VM B and VM C are designated critical VMs, they will be the focus of our restoration on the target cluster to the right here. With that said, we're now going to crash all three VMs on the source cluster using the power off option, which is equivalent to pulling the power cord on a physical machine. Now that all three VMs have been crashed on the source cluster, we're going to start our timer and see how long it actually takes to recover these VMs. As mentioned, VMA is a non-critical VM, so I'm going to focus on VMB and VMC first. In this case, it's going to be the one taken at 12.21 p.m. So go ahead and we'll clone this VM and we'll do the same for VMC. Go ahead and power up the VMB clone and the VMC clone and we'll open up the console for each. Now, because these snapshots were taken in a running state on the VM, it's going to see it as in a crash consistent state. We'll bring up VMC. Same thing. While we're waiting on those, we'll go ahead and restore VMA since we already have VMB and VMC running. We'll go ahead and take the replication snapshot. Here's our VMA clone. We'll power that on as well. We'll check on the progress of VMB and VMC. Let's get logged on. Same for VMC. And we have our VM up and running again. If you're using uh, set IPs, this would be the time to go ahead and configure that. So in this case, it's just using DHCP, but that's all it takes. 